came through to pay our respects to the land, to the original people of this land. On behalf of the Metropolitan Local Aboriginal Lands Council, I would like to welcome you all to the lands of the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation. We had a smoking ceremony so we can um, be blessed and feel everything, the mana, the spirit. Where well, my people are the world's oldest living continual culture. The smoking ceremony today, it's always cleansing and healing ceremony. This will give you the connection to this country here, Gadigal country. So you have a safe journey and trip whilst on country. When I come to someone's house, I always show my respect. That's how I was raised. So yeah, um, we're on. Mana's with me. With us. Got enough light for the black boys or? You'll be right, the flash yeah. is on. <laughs> Thank you. All times, all times. Nothing changed. I just get older. <laughs> I miss my family and my wife just sent me a video message to, with my kids. <laughs> but now, practice. <laughs> Today we have a short session uh, because uh, before fights, in uh, fight weeks, we have short sessions, maybe one round, one minute, and speed, power in all movement. Uh, session was good. We're just doing like uh, drills and techniques and, and, and training speed. So, yeah, I, I'm feeling like I'm in really good shape. Speed, power, everything in good shape. I'm feeling great, ready to fight. Don't you guys show this, I don't have a choice. And pay my bills. Hello, dot com team. More rooms, more cameras, more editing, more censoring. When you think about how far you've come to make it, even just to the UFC, but now to this point, do you feel any sort of emotions that I know you probably don't really want to show to the world? No, I guys, I'm a soft man, dude. I wear, I wear my heart on my sleeve, you guys. Yeah, I know. If you could go tell the little, you know, the little 13, 14 year old self dropping out of high school that I would be here, I'd be like, you're high. Oh, my girl Nina. Let's continue. Let's ask away, Nina. Ask all your questions. Dude, how was your morning? My morning's good, man. I, I got a security detail now. Everybody's keeping me super safe, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. What's on your schedule the rest of the day? And after this, I'm going to go do the uh, media where I'm going to talk to all the parasites. Oh, the media parasites? Yeah. You know, I don't really consider you a parasite. Oh, thanks. Ah, oh, the media. What's up, guys? A lot of Australian guys today. A lot of more media. Oh, this guy. Is he a guy that you'll have to be twice, considering like when Alex beat him, it was an immediate rematch? Oh, I mean, I'll fight, I'll fight him in the parking lot afterwards, you know? Again, guys, I like is y'all fighting, but I'll fight anybody in here. I like fighting, it's fun. The job is to fight, you know, this is all around it, but the job is to fight. Do you feel underestimated or disrespected at all? Yeah, you know, I mean, again, Izzy's one of the greatest kickboxers in the world. It's a fucking uphill fight. It's gonna be a fucking war. You don't want to stand at range with Izzy, you want to Go toe to toe, make it a war, make it a dog fight, and accept that either when you get knocked out. And you know what? Let's f go. Let's have that party. All right, that's all she wrote. Anyways, you guys are awesome, man. Clap yourselves on the shoulder, you guys. The media, you guys, are amazing. All of you guys, man. Canada, next time wear a suit, dude. I'm not going to take questions from you anymore. I like those pants. They're dope. Back to Sydney, back to Australia, um, mm -hmm. and this time you didn't come alone. You actually, it sounds like you brought Sean Strickland with you to Sydney because it sounds like without you, this fight would not be happening here. Is that correct? You are one hundred percent correct. I got him his first passport. I um, got him his first flight out of his country. Um, I got him his big money fight. So uh, he should be really grateful after this because he's talking all the shit and it's whatever. But like, he should really be grateful because I'm changing his life for the better. He, he doesn't care. I think that's uh, that's that that's what makes him dangerous. He's gonna try and do his best to beat me by any means necessary, and that makes you a dangerous man. A man with nothing to lose and everything to gain is a dangerous man. He wants this. I know he wants that. Well, I guarantee you, I'll finish this guy. Mwah. Spread love. That's what a real mob do. Radio. Peace. 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 Thank you.
Eu achei Sydney maravilhoso. É um lugar que eu acho que casou bem com o meu estilo de ambiente também. Tempo rodando. Dois. Esse era meu sonho, essa era minha oportunidade. Eu mentalizo isso desde os meus sete anos de idade. O povo de Sydney vai gostar de ver o meu show lá dentro do Octógono. Oh, boa! O Felipe vai estar fazendo a estreia dele, estamos treinando todo dia de manhã e de tarde. De manhã mais ou menos na hora que ele vai estar lutando e à noite para a gente poder descer um pouco mais o peso para dormir. E o Felipe está mais do que pronto. Ele está pronto para a guerra, está pronto para a vitória. Oh, soco! E não tem outro resultado a não ser o braço levantado. I am the best and the victory champion. Let's go. We are here in the Sydney Town Hall for the UFC 293 Open Workouts. We don't do open workouts a ton anymore, so this is really exciting for fans. Uh, we're here to watch uh, Strickland and Izzy uh, have an open workout, and I'm here to please watch it. You'll feel a tattoo of Aussie, mate. That's how I'm feeling. Chewies, everything. That's the way I'm feeling today. Thank you, Sydney. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the love. Uh,